Hi, welcome back to the EQ blog. This is where I'm sharing with you about emotional intelligence or what we call EQ. And the last time when we were together, I promised that this time I was going to share some of those EQ skills that I used as a child growing up. Because we were talking about, why would you listen to me? And I think it's important to know about my biography, about my growing up, and why emotional intelligence became so important to me. And so that's what I'm going to share today, is those things that I used as a child, and I want you to listen to see where I, in my story, where I share things about what I had to be aware of as a child, and how I had to manage certain emotions, and how I had to be self-motivating, where empathy came into play, and relationship. All of that's within a story. And now, maybe when you listen to other stories, you'll listen for those traits as well. What was it in your childhood that was so difficult? I had a father that didn't have very good emotional skills. And he became very verbally abusive. And I was the youngest, I was a little girl, <clears throat> and I had two older brothers. And because my father had emotional challenges, he didn't have high EQ, he had challenging EQ because of things that happened in his life, that he took it out on me. And so I knew as a little kid, I learned early on to try to keep the atmosphere a certain way so things would be nice so daddy wouldn't be mean. Now my father never physically hit me, didn't mean I wasn't afraid physically, because when you're sitting on a dining room table and someone picks up a bowl of mashed potatoes and throws them across the room and it smashes against the wall, well you know to keep things really calm and cool. So my father had challenging skills and he would tell me things, tell me how ugly I was and how stupid I was because I was a female and I couldn't help it. And the flip side of that is I had an amazing mother, a fantastic mother. My mother was the most amazing person I've ever had the privilege to know and she used emotional intelligence like water pouring from a pitcher. And I know some people go, well, how could you have this this background or these parents that were so different. Well, my father had brain damage due to an accident. And because of that, my mother said, he can't help the way he is. She said, so I'm gonna stick by him and we're gonna be able to do this. And that will take me into some of my story. What else uh, affected you during that period? Were you exposed to books or television that gave you hope for a future? You know, what really gave me hope for a future, I have to go back to my mom. It wasn't the TV, and yes, there were books. The books were awesome. But my mother helped us read and understand books where she would say, listen to the words and listen behind the words. But the whole magic of my growing up goes to my mom. So I want to share one of the stories. When I was in second grade, I called my brother a name. Now I haven't called anybody a name since second grade. So I called my brother a name on the playground. He's two years older than I am. After dinner, my mother said, hey, Suze, can I talk to you a minute? Now I loved my mom. I thought, yeah, my mom wants to talk to me. And I sit down on the couch with her and she looks at me and she goes, honey, I understand you called your brother a name today. I said, yes, I did. And she looked at me and she said, I don't care what you call your brother. I don't even care what you think about your brother. But I do care what you call my son. He's my son and I love him. At that point, I'm already starting to cry and I'm going, I get it, I get it, Mom. And she goes, of course you do because you're my daughter. I love you. And I would never want anyone to ding your heart. So when you called your brother a name, it hurt my heart. And she goes, I know you. I know that from now on, you will always think that if you go to call someone a name or hurt them with words from your mouth, that there's people who love that child. 
And they might look at that child differently than you do. And I hope that maybe you begin now to look at them differently too. What were the two or three biggest lessons that you could share? I got out of this bad situation because of these. What were those lessons that your mother taught you? Oh. When my father would do things, I wanted to retaliate. And I think this is really pertinent and key. That when we see sometimes people doing bad behavior, we don't realize they learned from their parents or who was in their life. So when my father would do something and it would hurt me and anger me, I wanted to retaliate. I used to think, well, I'll show him I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And I would even say to my mom, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And she'd look at me and she'd go, well, it's a choice, Sue. She goes, you can either be just like the person who's hurting you or you can choose to be different. Just like that. She'd teach the lesson and I'd get it. And it's not easy because we think, there's a part of us that wants, we want, we want the payback. We, want, we think, oh, I'll do that because we're hurting so badly. And I am so grateful that I grew up the way I grew up because I've learned such amazing lessons. And now when I learned as a child, it doesn't do any good to pay back. It doesn't do any good to be like that other person, but to call upon higher skills and to develop empathy. And I'm so glad that I developed empathy because I learned later as a child, as an adult, my father couldn't help the way he was. So what are you going to bring to us in your next blog? Ah, in the next blog. <laughs> Let's explore emotional intelligence a little bit more and how you can utilize it with your child and how we teach it on our, our video and how we bring those skills to your child and I also would like to start talking about some other people out there who also are in the, this EQ world along with me because I want to start interviewing them and having conversations with them. They bring fabulous, fabulous skills to us. And that's what I would like to bring to us next time. See you next time. Thanks for being with me.